Hey guys, this is Coffee Chug, and I'm here just to do a quick review of Code.org Star Wars JavaScript. It's the beta that just came out, and I was able to check it out um, last night, and it's awesome. Definitely one to explore. So as you can see here, you have the block interface, and you have BB-8, and you're trying to work him through various tasks. There's 15 total. The beauty of it is that you are able to use the block interface if that's what makes sense to you. So if you're uh, a lab view or a scratch type programmer you have that in the toolbox and you can make that work as you're looking here now you can also switch to text which then converts the block into JavaScript and you're able then to take a look at that and see how it actually would program into that JavaScript script uh, formats so if you're trying to merge away from a, a block programming into line by line coding So as you work through this, you're going to see a bunch of autofill options so you don't have to have every line memorized. And then as you test your code out, you can obviously see BB-8 work through what you've accomplished. It keeps track of how many lines of code you have created. And then it moves you through a progression of, of different missions, as you can see here. Um, and so this particular one here, you can see that now I'm just keeping it in, in block mode um, as opposed to the text conversion in the JavaScript. And so you have a task, it'll give you at the end of each mission, as you move into the next new one, it'll tell you what you need to do. And so this one here is obviously trying to grab these pieces. If you were to get it incorrect, it'll have you go back and, and try it again. And you just work through a series of these progressions. Um, as you go through, I didn't show these here, but there are a couple of videos that do pop up, um, and they're very, very good. Um, great ideas and insights, and it's just really cool to hear from people who actually use the coding uh, for a living doing some really amazing things. And so here in this left one you can see is it just kind of advances as you go through starting to move from not just moving up and down but moving into functions and other types of programming as you make your way through. And so in this particular one trying to obviously go through and control with the event option that you can use in JavaScript. And so as you go through these things there's 15. Um, it took me about 45 minutes to complete, so depending on your familiarity with JavaScript and Code.org, um, it's going to be up to you. What you can see here is, as you go through um, a variety of things, as you go to each mission, you get more options that you're trying to do and explore. Um, and so as if you've never used Code.org before, you do not need an account. You can do it without signing in, which is nice if you're at school. If you're thinking about using it as a station within your classroom and just exploring so kids don't have to do that. Um, the other thing that's nice is you can take this and have an account and keep track of all your successes and things that you're actually able to accomplish. So here's just, uh, you're kind of going through and seeing some of these here. Um, you can kind of get a sense of the, of the program. So it's definitely something worth exploring and checking out. Um, give it a feel. If you don't like Star Wars, there are others on Code.org, like Frozen and other games to connect. So there's something there for everyone. And um, just really can't emphasize enough to join and get part of the initiative of Hour of Code. Get your kids, get yourself on Code.org and learn some basic programming skills because it is definitely worth your time. And then when you're done, you get a beautiful certificate showing that you have completed the challenges. So there it is. Highly recommended by Coffee Chug. Go check it out now.